Now turning to some economic headlines, U.S. President Joe Biden has signed an executive order to review supply chains for critical materials. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen urged for the cooperation of G20 countries in containing the coronavirus, and Hong Kong saw its biggest surge in exports in January since 1992. Our business correspondent Cao Eun-kyung has the details. Joe Biden's executive order mandates a 100-day review of supply chains for four key sectors. Semiconductors, large capacity ferries, pharmaceuticals, and rare earth elements. Semiconductors are used in products from cars to phones, while large capacity ferries are used in electronic vehicles. Rare earth elements are key components in high-tech products such as smartphones and drones. The review is to strengthen vulnerabilities in supply chains across critical sectors in the U.S. The order does not mention China, but dependence upon strategic competitor nations will be among the risks to be evaluated. As of now, the country imports about 80 percent of its rare earth from China and relies on the country for as much as 90 percent of some medical products. The U.S. is projected to pursue partnerships with Australia for rare earth and with Taiwan, Japan and South Korea for semiconductors. Janet Yellen, in her letter to G20 finance officials Thursday local time, asked for economic support for low-income countries. She stressed that these countries have been particularly hit hard by COVID-19 and without proper help, they face further loss of life and delayed economic recovery. She suggested an allocation of special drawing rights as a means of providing liquidity to poorer countries. The SDR is an international reserve asset created by the IMF. Members of the IMF can convert the reserve asset into hard currency upon request. Hong Kong's exports surged 44 percent in January on year. It is the biggest increase since 1992. A rebound in exports to Taiwan and China has been attributed to the substantial pickup. Seon Gyeong, Arirang News.